Yo guys, what's up? Caroline here and welcome back to another video. As you guys can see, we're an ultimate team and as you would have guessed from the title of this video, it is going to be a 94 rated Shapeshifters Andy Robertson review. Yes, I know this card has not been released yet. Um, EA did make a mistake and they put the many release players that will come out tomorrow into the Shapeshifters loan player pick. So I did take Andy Robertson I decided I'll make a review for you guys just so you guys can see whether or not it's worth the coins after he does come out. Not that I know how much it'll cost, but I can give a verdict and help direct you guys. Anyway, you guys saw the player bio. He has 4 star skills and the 4 star weak foot, 5 foot 10 with high to high work rates. These attribute details are absolutely ridiculous. He's got 94 pace, 82 shooting, 94 passing, 90 dribbling, 93 defending and the 91 physical as well, which is all very very good. When it comes to the camp style, I decided to give him a finisher camp style, which does improve the finishing by 15 to go up to 89, penalties up to 80, and the dribbling and balance um, also getting boosted there. Some really good stats all around, but the main stat is a 99 aggression on the card, and you can really, really feel it. 99 crossing as well, of course, does make a big difference, as well as at 94 pace. When it comes down to the traits, he has the leadership trait and the early crosser trait, and I will be playing this Andy Robertson card as a right centre mid in a 4-1-2-1-2 narrow and as a left mid in a 4-4-2 because I feel like some of you guys will want to see how he plays out wide. With that being said, let's get straight into the video for 94 rated shapeshifters Andy Robertson. And bending balls into the box. So guys, heading into the first clip, Andy Robertson has it here. Really good dribbling, good burst of speed to get past this man. Gets it into Fernando Torres who volleys the past goalkeeper. It's a brilliant volley but all that courtesy of some brilliant dribbling and a brilliant cross from Andy Robertson. Moving on to the next clip, Alexander Arnold gets it into Robertson here, moves it on to Cristiano Ronaldo, gives it back to Robertson, takes a touch past his man, cuts it back to Kaká, was an easy volley, but yet again, fantastic work from Robertson just to get into that position in the first place. And in the first half, he did get two assists um, for us, and we were able to go 3 0 up. On to the second half of this game, some brilliant dribbling from Robertson, sends it through to Vieira, who unfortunately couldn't get past the goalkeeper. A few seconds later, uh, we play back to Robertson, go for the pass over the top. It spun perfectly to Alexander Arnold's feet, but unfortunately he couldn't make that pass. And in the nick of time, Robertson already is back, just to chip it over the defender's leg, and we do get a free kick. We are going to play it short, we're going to take a touch, we're going to smash it, a green shot, and it hits the bar. A really good effort there from Andy Robertson, and unfortunately we are not able to come away with the goal. But, moving on to the next clip here. Good aggression from Robertson, brilliant strength to hold off McGinn, good dribbling just to wriggle between those five players he had there and he gets it into Joao Cancelo and courtesy of that puny work from Andy Robertson, a few passes later we get the ball with Ronaldo in the box, one touch to control, second touch to shoot and he is not going to miss but yet again all that because of Andy Robertson, his ability to hold the ball up under pressure and uh, advance us forward. Onto the next clip here, Robertson just makes the run forward. We're going to try and outpace Ruben Diaz, which is very difficult in this game for some reason. Robertson does very, very well to get past him and he cuts it back to Ronaldo. And unfortunately, the back heel volley was saved by the goalkeeper. On to the next clip, Robertson just steps across, wins it back in midfield with a good interception. Moves it on to De Bruyne. He helps it into Ronaldo. Torres makes a good run, we're going to find him. Torres takes one touch. Fernando Torres, one touch, chip shot, goal. Brilliant work, but all that yet again because Robertson won the ball back in midfield and was able to progress it for us. On to the next clip, Robertson finds Kaká. Kaká gives it back to Robertson, it's brilliantly done, it's Andy Robertson, it's into the back of the net. And we do get the first goal of this video with Andy Robertson. Does really well just to make that pass into Kaká, continues his run, collects the ball and we were able to score. In this situation, in the next game, some brilliant dribbling from Robertson just fizzes past this man and unfortunately the shot is just past the post. On to the next clip, Vieira moves it onto Robertson, spits into the space, curls it into Fernando Torres. It's Fernando Torres, it's a brilliant finish and we do get yet another assist with Andy Robertson in this video. On to the next clip, Allison throws it out to Robertson who makes a brilliant pass across the field for Cancelo. It's very accurate, Cancelo, we need the same from him and it is. Torres with a very accurate header as well and a couple of passes in that move that were absolutely ridiculous. All of them managed to come off and we were able to get a second goal in that game. On to the next clip, Robertson takes one touch, goes for the finesse shot and he finds the back of the net brilliantly right into the top corner. 
no keeper saving that, a brilliant shot from Robertson. And as you guys can see, the long shots on this card is actually very, very good. Moving on to the second half, this is with Robertson in that left mid position. He does really well here, good aggression, fighting for the badge, make sure to get the ball off Tots Tonali, who is very, very good in this game. Puts in a brilliant cross to De Bruyne, unfortunately his header hits the post and then on the rebound he decided to smash it at Donnarumma. Again here, Robertson just cuts inside instead of going down the line and um, makes a fantastic dink in behind Masala who hits it at the goalkeeper again. On to the next game, Robertson here does very well to get past his man, good acceleration, gets it into Kaká, goes for the shot, it is blocked and Torres is there, just tap it in before it went on for a corner and we do go 2 up in this game, but had Kaká scored it would have been a pretty good assist from Andy Robertson. Here you guys will see just an example of Robertson's speed, using it to get around Julie Bacicce with ease and moving it on to Kaká so that we could get onto the attack. Anyway, on to the next clip, um, De Bruyne gets it on to Ronaldo, takes it over to Robertson. Again, we're going to try and use the speed to get past Militao and we do exactly that, who has to bring us down and do get a penalty, which we did end up missing anyway. But De Bruyne puts the corner in, it comes up to Robertson the into the box. It's Andy Robertson and it just went for the shot and unfortunately the goalkeeper makes a save but some pretty good connection nonetheless. On to the next clip here, Vieira does well, moves it on to Robertson, just glides through the defence and smashes it past the goalkeeper into the back of the net on that four star weak foot. Here again, Cancelo moves it on to De Bruyne, De Bruyne finds Robertson, one touch to control it, in the box, brilliant control, sets him up perfectly for the finesse shot and he finesses it past the goalkeeper, 4-1 up and this guy is going to end up quitting. On to the next game here, Robertson loses out but he wins it back to, uh, immediately from Chouamini and he just makes sure to get the head of Kunde, wins the header, knocks it on for Ronaldo, what a volley that is, absolutely outstanding but yet again, all that, courtesy of the tenacity from Andy Robertson, loses it, wins it back. Gets the ball first, wins the header, and we do get a goal with Cristiano Ronaldo there. And here we get a goal with Fernando Torres. Again, brilliant pass on Robertson, con um, controls it, moves it on, and we were able to get a goal there. And again here, the Torres-Robertson link up. Brilliant pass on Robertson. I just decided why not test his long passing, and what a ball it was. Sends Torres in behind, and unfortunately, the goalkeeper does make a save. There again, the tenacity and aggression from Robertson coming to the fore. Brilliant challenge on Chuamani to win it back. And here again, the aggression and the, the, the speed coming up. Clutch for us, just runs away, holds up the defender, and moves it on to Alexander Arnold. Here again, Robertson gets it into Ronaldo with a good pass, helps it on to Kaká, who absolutely hammers the bar. But all that, again, because of Andy Robertson's ability to hold the ball up and make that progressive pass. There's some brilliant skills here from Robertson, gets past his man, unfortunately, he does get kind of tackled. It comes out to him again and he nearly manages to finesse it into the top corner. But some brilliant work there from Robertson and uh, unfortunately, the finesse shot is just wide. On to the next clip, we are going to try another through ball and it is a perfect through ball. It's curled into the path of Cristiano Ronaldo. And I was kind of hoping he hit a looping volley like the one you saw earlier, but unfortunately that one was flat and hard at the goalkeeper. Here Robertson, again, good interception, moves it on to De Bruyne and unfortunately his pass was um, not up to scratch as you would expect Kevin De Bruyne's passes to be. This is with Robertson in that left mid position, just makes run in behind, passes defender and it is a brilliant shot um, following a brilliant run and we are able to get an equaliser in this game. Anyway, moving on to the next clip here, Robertson does really well, wriggles between the two, it's Andy Robertson and he nearly manages to smash it into the top corner after some pretty good dribbling and unfortunately we don't end up getting a goal. But here, a brilliant pass on Robertson, gets it into Di Maria, I should have probably cut that back to Salah, but unfortunately I saw it too late and I shot already with him and it didn't go wide. On to the last clip of this video, it is a penalty with Andy Robertson, he does have 80 penalties, I decided why not take it with him, put him in the top corner and he did exactly that and courtesy of him, courtesy of those two goals he scored in that game, we were able to win the match. So guys, with the highlights out the way, it is time to review the card. In five games, he's got six goals and five assists, a brilliant goal contribution from the centre mid position and the left mid position in the midfield. I couldn't have asked much more with this Andy Robertson card. It is absolutely fantastic and if he is expensive, I do think he will be worth the coins because he is absolutely ridiculous. When it comes down to the pace, this guy feels rapid in the centre of the park. 
he's able to outpace most midfielders, even the team of the season ones, which says a lot. So for the pace, I'm going to go ahead and give him a 9.7 out of 10. When it comes down to the shooting, surprisingly, it is very, very good. The 82 shooting is definitely a false stat. Um, the long shots and the shot power on this card is phenomenal. You guys saw he scored that cracking finish shot. He smashed the bar from very far out. And apart from that, even his long shots um, that didn't go in were very, very close as well. So the long shots on the card is definitely fantastic. The finishing, it might just be down to the chem style, which gives him a plus 15 finishing. But the finishing inside the box, he didn't miss any of the shots I took inside the box. Every single shot I did take did find the back of the net. So for shooting a 9 out of 10. When it comes down to the passing, the passing on this card is brilliant. This guy makes every single pass. Long pass, short pass, through ball, over through. He makes absolutely everything. And don't even get me started about his crosses. His crossing was absolutely ridiculous. So for passing, I would give him a 9.8, but because he does sometimes want to pass it on his left foot in a very awkward situation, I'm going to go ahead and give him a 9.7 out of 10. When it comes down to the dribbling on the card, the dribbling on the card is absolutely fantastic. Um, it might be down to the finisher cancel, which does help him a little bit, giving him 97 agility, 87 balance and 99 dribbling. But regardless, the dribbling on the card is absolutely fantastic, a 9.5 out of 10. Defending is absolutely ridiculous. You guys saw some of the interceptions, some of the tackles he made, um, lifting it off players in the middle in, in midfield. So again, the defending is absolutely ridiculous. Not much more to be said there. A 9.7 out of 10 as well. And the physical, this guy is very, very strong, surprisingly, and he does last the whole game because it's a 99 stamina and because purely of that 99 aggression, which does help the card a lot. Anyway, with that being said, I think that this card will probably be around maybe 400 to 600,000 coins and if he is, I do think he is completely worth it. And yeah, with that I do bring it into the video. If you guys liked the video, smash the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And until then guys, stay tuned for the next one. Peace.